These divers came face to face with the scariest things ever found underwater. What would you do if you saw these things while swimming? And the last one is the scariest and I bet you can't make it to the end. Someone dropped this Jason Voorhees statue underwater in a lake to scare scuba divers. Bro, I'd have to change my scuba pants if I've ever seen that underwater. Hey, look, we're deep underwater. What's she pointing at? What? <gasps> That whale shark said, who that? Luckily, the whale sharks don't attack you and they can't hurt you. But I bet you he hurt his scuba pants after he lost his lunch in them. If you're swimming in the open ocean and you run into a tiger shark, run fast like this. If you ever see this in the ocean, you need to swim fast. It's your grandma in a two-piece. Oh my God. He talks about riptides being dangerous in this video, but they're not dangerous if you stay on land. Hey, check out this comment from Amina. They said, hope you can mention me in your next video. Love your videos, man. Just recently found you and I'm obsessed with your channel. Aww. Hey, thank you so much. And I really work hard at making these videos good for you guys. And I hope that you guys really like them. And if you want your comment featured in this video, make sure you comment on this one. Make sure you leave something funny or silly like I always do. And I can't promise you I'll have it in there, but I just might feature yours. And yours might be in this video. So make sure you stay to the end. This dude completely misunderstood when they said, let's go whale watching. Buddy, they meant from the boat. Wow. He's just casually swimming with that whale like it's his lap dog. When I die, I'm going to come back as one of these. Well, it might be sooner than you think. That is bioluminescence, and it comes from marine animals. Yes, yeah, some are safe to swim in, but many are toxic to humans. I'd be more impressed if they showed us what a fart looked like underwater in that. <laughs> UFO found an ocean. Wait, I guess UFO means unidentified floating object. It's not a UFO, bro. It's Moana's grandma. It's just a capsized boat, guys, and it's just a light reflecting back at the camera. Never before seen creature revealed. Looks like an alien lost their cat. Actually, I think it's an influencer's eyebrows. No, guys, it's actually a type of bristle worm, and if you ever touch one of those, you talk about excruciating pain. Don't swim in a North Sea. Bro, I don't swim in any sea, but this guy's about to parkour and find out today. The water looks clear, bro. Now, bro jumps in. Wait, what is that? Something's over there. I see something. <gasps> run, run, bro, run! Good thing it didn't overreact. What is it? Oh, it's a little stingray. Is he about to get Steve Irwin? <laughs> It'll be fine, guys. It found its way back in the water. It skibbity dee to its way back in. And if you never saw the underside of a stingray, check this out. Look at this happy little face. Now that's more of a skate than a stingray, but it still looks happy. Do you see it? I'm looking. Wait, wait, what's that? What was that? Yeah, slow it down, that helps. Okay, can you zoom in some, bro, so we could see? Wait, man, what is that? Is that a big tail? What do you guys see? Let me know in the comments. I almost jumped in. Well, let's be glad you stuck your $1,200 iPhone in first, bro. Dude, that's freaky. It's like they watched us up there on the phone and just got offended. POV, you walk into the wrong classroom. Scary creature spotted in a river? Bro, what is that? It's not even surfacing. There's no fin. What the heck is that? This is what I call, I told you not to go swimming, but you don't listen and you're fitting to learn today. Bruh. Hey guys, most of you think that I'm scaring you from going swimming in oceans or rivers, but you need to understand something. Come here. It's not that I was scared of the water just because my stepbrother threw me in at two years old. Bruh. It's the fact that I don't want to tempt fate because there's like one million reasons you could die in the water. That is a water buffalo, and yes, they go under the water. And if that doesn't scare you enough, they can be over six feet tall and 10 feet long and weigh over 2,500 pounds. In other words, these things are thick river submarines with horns with an attitude like Karen, like she just got cut in line of Starbucks. This mysterious looking creature was spotted in the Gulf of Mexico at 1,500 meters deep. This is actually called the dinner plate jellyfish. Normally, these guys are found off the coast of California, but seeing this in the Gulf of Mexico just shows you something, that the ocean is just a wet place that's open to the wide, wild world, and there's no telling when you're gonna find anything anywhere. Those creatures also have no heart, they're boneless, bloodless, and they're brainless. Kinda like Twitter users. Bruh. Hey, look at this comment from Luke, the cool guy. He says, hello, you have great vids, and I was wondering if you could react to some stuff on the Loch Ness Monster. Thank you, and yes I can, this clip's just for you. Look at that. If that's the Loch Ness Monster, then this is Skibbity Toilet. It's just a manatee, guys, and some people say that mermaids actually look like manatees. I mean, if they're thick and they have really big lips. Kinda like Instagram influencers. Speaking of mermaids, this is just creepy. I mean, I know it's fake, but I'm gonna have nightmares about mermaids now. Imagine swimming in a deep ocean and you come across this thing. This mysterious creature was found 4,000 feet deep off the coast of Africa in 2015. 
Now some don't know what it is, but I think it's my long lost hair, bro. Many claim that it's just an octopus or even a spawn of Cthulhu. But it's just a type of siphonophore, which means it's a bunch of creatures that come together for survival and they try to look cool. Kind of like the popular girls in your school. Bruh. Swimming with a whirlpool? That's a massive whirlpool, man. This guy's jumping in? Dude, this is incredibly insane to see. At least he doesn't have to worry about being sucked in. He's already in. Now guys, never swim around whirlpools, ever. Water is incredibly dangerous. And if you want to know what causes whirlpools, it's Ursula. My stepmom said that's what happened to my dad. He went swimming and got sucked in a whirlpool and has never been seen again. How deep are we in the ocean now? Man, what is, what the? Hey, yo, mom, look, I found dad. Cruises are fun until you realize your grandma wears a two-piece out in public. Look how dark the ocean is. Wait, I thought they were gonna see an iceberg. Look, Jack, I can fly! Oh, what the heck, bro? No, not happening. No, 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 no. Guys, this is a place called Wavu Thinabu. I guess that's how you say it. You can go somewhere with nurse sharks there. But I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna stay in my place called Ain't No Way I'm Doing That, Bro. I ain't gonna lie, I actually thought that was Australia at first. Hey guys, let's check out this comment from Jamie. Good day, Doc and Aussie here. You crazy, bro? I like it, yeah. Right, we have at least seven to 10 deadly creatures out here in the world. Everything wants to end you. That's why we're tough down here. Come for a visit. What? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Australia is one of my dream places to go, and I really want to go, but I'm scared to death. Hey, what? I tell you what, guys. If you go, I go. You ready? What? Look at this thing. Bro caught a legendary Pokemon. It's so shiny. They call this the Ridge Ooh. Fish. I'm kidding, guys. It's called a Cutlass Fish, and it shines like that because it has crystals in its skins, which makes the light shine back, and it's excellent and perfect for camouflage. Saved one million barnacles? That's a lot of them, man. But that doesn't look like one million. Did he count them all? Bro saved one million barnacles. Meanwhile, Whale's looking at him like... Saving barnacles is like saving mosquitoes. Bruh. Places where cruise ships come to die. Dude, this is incredibly freaky. Look at that. There's nobody there. Oh my gosh. Like, are these damaged ships or something? Oh, I think so. This just must be where they just hang out. Can you imagine what's on those... Oh, look, there are damaged ships. They just sit them there and they, they're like... They're ghost ships. Can you imagine if there's ghosts on the ships? I wonder if the Titanic people. Never mind, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna be nice. Another camera deep underwater. Man, what was that? That that tail was massive, bro. I think I'd rather not see what's coming. Man, I don't know what's going on, dude. Oh gosh! Scuba time! Bro just picked that crab up like it was a hot dog. He better be careful. I got my fingernail snapped before from a crab. I'm holding it wrong. They hurt bad, man. Where is he taking them? Is he gonna make them fight? Wait, what are they doing? Like, what is? Imagine being on a crab with a body of motion, just minding your own business, and you get picked up by a dude, and he's making you do some kind of dancing. I was out fishing on my kayak when I came across this giant school of red drum. Mistake number one, being in a sippy cup in the ocean. Mistake number two, being in the ocean. Hey guys, it's not that I'm scared of the ocean. I'm scared of what's in it. These guys rescued the sea turtle that was upside down on the beach, man. Now, it's illegal to touch a sea turtle, and you can actually get fined $25,000. But I would hope in this situation, they would get a pass, man. Hey, guys, you get a pass from me. Good job. Here's the comment from DWLP. They said, I know what not stands for in for non-existent hair. Oh, on the way of hair extinction. S, simple hair law. Big fan. That's funny, but no, bro. Not stands for nitrous oxide, which is that stuff that the dentist gives you so to calm you down and make you laugh. And hopefully I can make you guys laugh in these videos. That's why I say nitrous oxide. But also nitrous oxide is the stuff that you put in your car to so make it go really fast. Because I'm hyper and I'm fast, boy! My kitchen flooded and nature immediately moved in. What the heck is that, bro? He got a pumpkin turtle. So now we have cheddar cheese turtles before GTA 6. Oh, look at this walrus. What's he going to do? Imagine having to make fart sounds to get treats. Wait! Hey, it worked! These guys dropped the camera straight down a pipe in the woods, and what they found is gonna creep you out. For two straight minutes, this camera was going straight down, and they came across this underground screen, dude. Bro is lucky he didn't find lava down there. Just remember, kids, never dig straight down. Five things that should exist, but don't. The brain of a Facebook user, Twitter user, Instagram user, Snapchat user, and TikTok creator. I think that about sums it up. The frog leaps not knowing well. It would land trusting in a journey. 
Oh no, is this poor little guy gonna get eaten by something? There he goes. That frog forgot the frog. It's okay, guys. The frog was not hurt in that video. He's actually okay. Frogs have really thick skin and it takes a lot more than that to hurt them. Hey, did bro catch the fish? That's the kind of fish that I would use. Oh, that's the bait. Ooh. Wow. What is that? Ooh. What? Ooh. Wow. What is he catching? Wow. Oh, what is this stick here? What? what kind of stick does bro have? Oh. Imagine hooking a megalodon and a stick still strong like that. That stick is as strong as the last shred of hair on my head. So we got Opera 6 now before GTA 6, bro. It's still better than KSI's new song. No! 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 What? Now that's exactly what I first thought when I heard Seahorse. Not this curly cute french fry of a thing. Have you ever seen a seahorse give birth? Bro, he leads them out like a confetti cannon. Oh, wait, I thought it was gonna be a polar bear at first. What is she doing? This has- <laughs> Now we have Frozen Jojo Suiya before GTA 6. What? Bro is a fuzzy Voldemort. Well, look at this. This monkey is eating orange better than me. Now guys, I know this is a golden snub nose monkey, but he's eating that orange like a distinguished gentleman. Oh. No, bro. I don't have any emeralds. Why do proboscis monkeys look like an old man? And no, not me, bro. Wait for it. She just dropped the monkey's food, man. That's not cool because he can't swim for it. That's that's not funny. Look, bro is sad, man. He's a... Oh, no. What the heck? Is he sarcastically clapping? Or is he really happy because that food was gross? Somebody get that dude a banana. Oh, another monkey. Don't drop this poor monkey's food this time. Oh, ouch. At least he couldn't pull my hair. Monsters you've never seen before. Your grandpa mad over politics. <laughs> you've never seen these before because they're faker than your grandma's teeth. Google Earth hiding something. It's your dad. Is that a tree? Dude, this is giving me Stranger Things vibes. Like, I don't know what's going on. How do you have snow all of a sudden there? Wait, is that fire? Oh, that's crazy. So I know this is called the Eternal Flames of New York, and yes, you can visit there. Would you go? Hey, check out this comment from Uzair. He left this on my video. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Dang it, man, I missed mom's party. Well, tell mom happy birthday. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? It's a baby Demogorgon. I'm kidding, guys. It's actually a slug moth caterpillar, and they can't sting you, and they're venomous and cause excruciating pain. They eventually become a hag moth. Look out, ladybug girl, he's coming. Decided to take a bath in my Airbnb. Oh, that's, is that hair? That's gross, man. Like, is she trying to, <gasps> it moved? That's freaky. So what is she doing? Is she gonna get out? Dude, why is she playing hide and seek or, and peekaboo with this thing? What the heck are you doing? That's nasty. So guys, this is called a palmetto bug. You might have these things in your house. They're also called cockroaches. These geese just disappeared. What do you mean they just disappeared? What, what the heck? I still, I thought I saw them. Hold up. What the heck? Guys, this is something we call in the science community Adobe After Effects. It's fake. Ooh, I love tigers. They're my favorite animal. What is bro doing though? <laughs> Tony the Tiger just said, put this in your cornflakes and eat it. Tigers, just like house cats, they spray to mark the territory or when they're being stressed like this poor guy. Somebody free Tony the Tiger. Oh, he's setting a bear free. Bro, that bear took it personal. <laughs> that bear said, I told you to wait till I get out of this cage. If I were that dude, I'd never trust that driver again. Jesus Christ. Did you know that bears can actually run fast as a horse? Holy horseshoe. If the rock were a horse, is venom in that thing or what, man? Hey, horse, how much horsepower do you have? The horse. Yep. Okay, so now these are normal horses. They're still pretty, though. But what are they doing? <laughs> what kind of jokes were those horses telling? They were just horsing around. What would you do in this situation? Turn and run fast, bro. What do you think I do? Jump off, dude. Why is he going so slow? Bro's done. No, 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 no. What is he thinking here? Whose house has lions in it, bro? What would you do? 
I think I jump over the rail and take my chance. Oh my gosh! He just came after him. What the heck? So guys, I just looked this up. So those apparently are his pet lions in his house. It's only a matter of time before Simba and Mufasa get hungry, bro. <laughs> And now we got Zebra Finch dropping sick beats before GTA 6. Well, that's a pretty looking look. Bro is starting up his 1990 dial up internet. And that's an Australian magpie and they attack people. It's in Australia! Of course they attack people! Must Such a lot. camel. <laughs> 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 I actually thought that was a real camel at first. Now we got Skibbity Camels before GTA 6. Yes, yes, no, 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 yes. I accidentally dropped my phone in the enclosure. Dude, what if they step on it? That phone's gonna be done for. Oh no, here comes another one. It sees the phone though. It's gonna step on it? Oh no. I thought it was about to break it. What the heck's he doing? We just got me too'd by a giraffe. Hey, look at that flamingo. It's a flamingo happy feet. What the heck? I bet you didn't know that baby flamingos were white, did you? I ain't gonna lie, me either. I thought they looked like those Easter peeps. Fox tries to bark. Where's the fox? That's a dog. Wait. That's a fox? What the well, technically, foxes do bark. What does a fox say? Yep, yep, yep. That's what we call how many fingers do you want to lose today? That's an alligator snapper turtle, and I know it's just a baby, but they have a powerful bite. Oh, is this another lion? Oh my gosh, it's so much worse. What the heck is that, a bear? Wait, that's a wolf. What is that? Why is bro built like the Hulk? Whatever it is, run. What is that? Is that a toy? What's that, brother? Oh wait, it's a real possum. That little dude's locked in, bro. That's wild. The cat doesn't know what to do. He's comfortable. <laughs> he got a quick sniff. I've never seen a possum. That's wild. Oh, his teeth is this. Oh. I've never seen a possum stay still while walking. They normally do that by playing dead, lying on the ground. That's why they call it playing possum. What, <gasps> what the heck? What? You better run. Oh my gosh, dude. He's still filming. Are you crazy? What? I got chased by what? a rhino once and I dated her for two years. Oh my God. Listen, did you know that rhinos can actually run 35 miles an hour and they are pretty thick beasts and they eat about 130 pounds of food a day? Now, normally they're just kind of shy and they have great personalities, but you approach them the wrong way, they can get aggressive. What bro, I'm talking about rhinos, not my ex. I'm sorry if I offended any rhinos out there. Here's a comment from Milo, let's check it out. Am I your bestie because I watched the video to the whole end? Yes, Miko, you are. Anyone who made this video this far, you're my bestie. But before you go, you may want to check out this crazy shark that these people found scuba diving. Or you might want to watch this video instead. But guys, one more question. You ready to go swimming?